So, what's in a car battery? You might think the things powering those 40-pound batteries are hyper children, 15 shots of espresso, or linebackers. Actually, the primary ingredient is lead. Taken from recycled batteries or other sources, purified lead becomes grids for the battery. A thick paste goes onto the lead grids, and when they come out, they're called plates. This will become the place where electricity will come from. Each plate is made to exact engineering specifications. Positive plates receive one paste, and negative plates receive a different kind of paste. Separators keep the opposite plates from touching. There can be as many as 90 to 150 plates going into one 12 volt battery. To ensure electricity can flow within the battery, the different cells, plates, and grids are connected. Now, the battery's components go inside the battery case. Then the cover is heat sealed and the case is pressurized. Then electrolyte, a mixture of water and acid, fills the battery adding the last ingredient the battery needs to store electrochemical energy. Chemically, the battery isn't ready to carry a charge until the last step, formation. That's where electricity slowly reforms the chemicals of the paste while charging the battery's power. All the while, cold water keeps the battery's temperature down as the electricity charges it. Inside, the interaction between the lead and acid create the chemical structure with electrical potential. The acid helps conduct the electricity inside the battery, and the lead skeleton directs the electricity to the battery posts. Now stocked with juice, the new battery's ready to go out into service.